The Super Cable System is a novel polymer circlage cable available for use in standard orthopedic applications where braided metal cable and wire have traditionally been used. This polymer cable offers significant advantages over metal cable and wire in a number of areas. The cable is constructed with a nylon core and braided outer sheath of ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene fiber. The locking clasp is made of titanium alloy and is contoured for a low-profile, tissue-friendly design. First-generation surclage consisted of monofilament wire. Wire, however, has limited strength and is prone to breakage due to fatigue. Later generation braided metal cable offers greater initial strength and is available with specialized instrumentation that allows for controlled tensioning and locking of the cable around the construct, but still suffers from longer term fatigue failure that can result in significant clinical complications. Silverton et al. reported in the Journal of Arthroplasty in 1996 on a series of patients receiving metal cable grip assemblies for trochanteric fixation in which 25% of patients experience trochanteric non-union, and in 88% of these cases, fraying and fragmentation of the cable were present. Other published reports have cited cable fragmentation and breakage rates ranging anywhere from 3 to 33%. In a 1997 clinical orthopedics and related research report, Hop et al. discussed the problem of migration of metal cable debris into the bearing surfaces of total joints resulting in highly elevated rates of bearing surface wear, osteolysis, and premature component loosening. This retrieved Charnley acetabular component shows cable debris embedded in the polyethylene articulating surface. The problems of debris migration are not eliminated with the use of monofilament wire. There have been at least two case reports in the literature of broken fragments of orthopedic surclage wire migrating into the patient's heart. Another notable limitation of metal surclage cable and wire is their inherent inability to maintain compression across the healing bone fragments as settling of the construct occurs over time. Since the metal cables are inelastic, they do not have the ability to compensate for any such construct settling, bone resorption, or even grooving of the bone from the cable itself. Thus, they can become loose, leading to motion and fatigue-related fretting and breakage. The polymer super cable system was created to address these limitations and offer a circlage system with superior fatigue strength that eliminates metallic debris generation while also providing a carefully engineered isoelastic capability to better maintain compression across bone fragments during the healing phase. In vitro testing was performed on the polymer super cable using a fixture that was designed to test both fatigue strength and abrasion resistance. This cross-sectional schematic of the test fixture shows the cable wrapped around the fixture and over a movable portion of the fixture shaped like a standard large bone fracture plate. The cable was tensioned to 100 pounds. The bone plate shaped member moves in an elliptical orbit under the tensioned cable. The test was run wet to 1 million cycles with no breakage or fraying of the cables. This SEM photo shows the cable that was located at the corner of the plate shaped articulating arm after 1 million cycles. The cable is completely intact and shows only some fiber fusion at the point of maximum fatigue stress and abrasion. The super cable instrumentation is quick and simple to use. One instrument not only tensions the cable, but also locks the cable by deploying the locking wedge in the class mechanism. Additionally, this system allows for repeated retensioning of the cable after locking without the need to unlock the clasp. Unlike braided metal cables and wires, there is no sharp cable end that can cut the surgeon's glove or irritate soft tissue. The super cable system has been in clinical use since 2004 and has been used on all standard orthopedic applications where metal cables have traditionally been used, such as trauma repair, total hip arthroplasty, shoulder replacement, and patellar fractures.